on the originals, but with the twist. We show you just enough to make you want to see the whole flick without giving away the story or ending like some trailers do. And we do it three times in a half hour. That's three movies served up our way. Just think of the time you're going to save. And when we're done, we'll tell you how you can get your hands on your own personal copy of these hard-to-find movies. Got it? Good. Moving on. First up is Kentucky Woman starring Cheryl Ladd as a coal miner's daughter. Not the singing kind, but the works down in a dirty tunnel kind. See, her father gets black lung and has to retire from the mines. She wants to take on daddy's job. Who wouldn't? But if you think that's as simple as it sounds, you've never seen a television movie of the week. Meanwhile, the other miners believe their shafts are strictly men only. So that spunky angel Cheryl has to fight not only the elements, but the sustained male establishment. So get ready to go waking in the coal mine. Here's the fast food film's take on Kentucky Woman. Here in Kentucky, when a girl turns 12, she's considered over the hill, past her prime, a dry well. Unfortunately for me, I'm 25, single, and I have a youngin'. Come on. To be honest, I don't even remember the last time I got laid. Wasn't it good for you? No. And apparently, neither did he. Hi. I'm Maggie Telford. I write a column called Sex in the County. In Kentucky, there are plenty of legal age women folk looking for a little zoom, zoom, zoom in the boom, boom. <coughs> the question being, where do you find it? Now, in my latest column, I ask the age-old question, can women find sex and sin in the workplace? I realized that if I wanted to get drilled, I was going to have to go where the drilling's done. Yep, I'm talking about the C word, coal mine. I like a job here at the coal mine. Come on now, Maggie, you looking for a man? Was it that obvious? My first day on the job, I was intimidated. But then I realized that a coal mine is a lot like a singles bar. It even has a bouncer. They assigned me to a hunk of hunk of burning love named Deke. They fancied himself an interior decorator. Okay, Fred, why don't you go get your curtains and then you can start hanging them down section two. Dick took a while to warm up to me. Maybe that's because I wasn't A, gay, and B, a man. I uh, got you a new man. <laughs> why don't you pull my other leg? Hell, I'd pull his leg or he could pull mine up over my head. Did I mention that I used to be a gymnast? Then I met Spinner, who asked me the same question my uncle did on the day I turned 16. You want to take it like a man? Or hell down? How do you take it? Like a man. Standing up and holding my ankles. Greases first. The last time I had a group of men surround me with a bucket of grease was at a family reunion. Oh, but I digress. Bend over, darling. Oh, I had never been gang spanked before. Well, Never in a coma. Oh, not the paddle. <gasps> not the paddle. <gasps> oh, yes, the paddle. Oh, the paddle. Oh. Did it hurt? Yes, Poppy. <clears throat> Let's go. We're not finished. Leave it to that Nancy Boyd Deke to break up the hanky panky. Or should I say, hanky spanky. Mm -hmm. That night, I attended the annual coal miner's ball, intending to do just that. Just my luck, the only one who paid me any mind was Deke, otherwise known as the coal miner's daughter. I figured, what the heck, I'm always up for a good challenge. But there was no change in Deke. Like they say down here in Kentucky, once an ass miner, always an ass miner. Fred, I'm not a man. Tired of being rejected and horny, too. I stopped beating around the bush and held a meeting where I asked the miners who wanted a piece of the action. My action, that is. All wishing action, raise your hands. I went straight to work. But word soon got out about my exploits in the coal mine. I was kicked out of my church. Maggie, I've always liked you. 
Spider. Spider my sin. And my son saw me for what I was. Are you a whore? To my credit, however, I had accomplished what I'd set out to do. I had done the whole mine. What are you gonna do now? Try not to mine. So, can a woman find sex and sin in the workplace? If you're willing to risk family, friend, and church, then the answer is absolutely. Now, a Kentucky woman is a little off the beaten track for director Walter Doniger. Let's see, he directed Duffy of San Quentin, The Steel Cage, The Steel Jungle, and House of Women. All prison movies. So he got paroled and did Kentucky Woman. If you want to see more of Cheryl Ladd in Kentucky Woman, we'll show you how you can own a copy of the original full-length movie later in the show. Coming up next, crimes of fashion in the Love Thrill Murders. And later, a two-for-one sale in Wizards of the Demon Sword. Hey, there's more show coming up. Keep it in fast food films. But we'll show you a movie in about the time it takes to scarf down a corn dog. Hey, call your mom and uh, ask her if she got all googly-eyed about Dreamboat Troy Donahue back in the 60s. If she did, then she's going to love our next abbreviated classic, The Love Thrill Murders. See, uh, this one has super hunk Troy and kind of a change of pace, playing a Charles Manson type who has a taste for sex, drugs, and dismemberment. Mom's going to love it. Of course, Troy's not really playing Manson. No, he's a cult leader named Moon who keeps a lot of drugged out, worshipful, naked hippie chicks in his past. Boy, those were the days. But when some suburban swingers invite Moon and the gang over for an evening of mating and hallucinating, things get real ugly real fast. So put on your headbands and love beads, take off everything else, and groove to our fast food film's take on the love thrill murders. Hello there, party people. I'm Sandra Starlight, America's premier party planner and host of the Starlight Party Hour, where we spotlight the greatest celebrity partiers of our time. This week, I partied with everyone's favorite madman, freak Charles Manson. That's right, baby. It was a swinging dinner party and a smashing success. You're going to find out why as we take a look at my dinner with Manson. All of you and me, and I am you. When I command, it's God's will. Or just maybe a whim of God. Isn't he just crazy? Now, what a lot of people don't realize is, Charlie's a devoutly religious man. You came into their world naked. Now you come into our world. But, as you'll soon see, he also knows how to have a good time. Excited by the prospect of partying with a lunatic, the guests begun to arrive early. Because his friends are such a mixed bag, Charlie insisted that I make the proper introductions. How do you do, Fritz? Not Fritz, it's Fritzy. Yes, Mr. Playwright, I'm gay. Isn't that what we're here for tonight, to have a gay party? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Relax, Daddy, I'm not going to steal away any of your little koozies. Oh, the freaks are here. It was the bell of the ball himself. Charlie always knows the right thing to say. Oh, I forgot what a piece of ass you are. Once Charlie arrived, the party really started to swing. Our psychedelic social director got things off to a groovy start with a party game. Everybody say f my part by preparing a fabulous spread. Oh, wow. We've got some joints, some poppers, some coke, some up down, out of sight. <laughs> All right, you freaks, from now on, there's no road back. Here you go. <laughs> of course, there's always a wallflower in the bunch, but that's when Charlie really shines. I take a deep breath. Oh. 
shouldn't. Uh... You know, she's got. Oh. Are they hers? Mm -hmm. They're everybody's. Another game Charlie likes to play is get your ass in the bedroom. I have a special toy to show you. What the hell does that mean? It means get your ass in the bedroom. And when Charles is in charge, whatever he says goes. Now, why don't you take your playmate by the hand and just lead him to some playpen? All right, let's go. Beautiful. <laughs> you think I'm beautiful now? What do you see me in the boudoir? He's like a coach, and we're all just players on his team. Here, you freaks. Go on. Yeah, go on. Go on. Oh, go on. Make it. Make it. And just when the party seemed to be winding down... Where does the party start? And who balls who? Charlie showed us just what kind of madman he really is. They're going to kill us! They're going to kill us! It was a swinging 60s dinner party, Manson style. Ah! Games like suck the gun. Suck it. And pin the tail on the junkie. Please forgive me for myself. Oh my God. God. I do my God. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh what fun we had. Did I do it right? Yes, you did, Charlie. And then some. Now let's review. What did we learn? When you're high, it all hangs out. <laughs> That's what I said. And? You know what they say. In every man, there's a bit of homo. Shut up, you stupid bastard. Join us next week when I plan a Passover Seder for the son of Sam himself, David Berkowitz. Hey, it's over. Don't freak out, man. You're in a safe, safe place. You know how we love to show you stuff that you'd never notice? Well, check this out. The Love Thrill Murders has a cameo appearance by the legendary co-owner of Troma, Mr. Lloyd Kaufman. Get down, Lloyd. Notice he didn't have any lines, but uh, who needs dialogue, huh? Anyway, told you you wouldn't have noticed it. That's our pledge. We watch them closely so you don't have to. Coming up, Chains of Love and Wizards of the Demon Sword. Hey, catch your breath. We'll be back with more fast food films after this. Fast food films. We know how you like it. Come with us now to the ancient world, the mythological past of swords, sorcerers, monsters, and most crucially, hot babes in skimpy outfits. Hey, who says history's boring? We got it all for you in our next flick, Wizards of the Demon Sword. This one's about the powerful sword of Actar. Basically, the good guys want it, the bad guys got it. The good guys include Blake Bonner and the scrumptious Heidi Payne. On the bad side, you got Lyle Wagner, you know, from the Carol Burnett Show, and Michael Berryman, the creepy bald guy from The Hills Have Eyes. This flick fulfills your recommended minimum daily requirement of sword fighting, dinosaurs, magic spells, slave markets. Oh, and uh, did we mention bodacious babes and skimpy outfits? Everything a movie needs. So put on your toga and sandals and get ready for our fast food films take on Wizards of the Demon Sword. As love drifts away in the breeze of despair, the great wheel of life spins anew as another world turns. I wish I would have never married Cora. Just because I sleep with other men every time I leave the castle, he doesn't trust me. Me, Melina. I modeled swimwear once. I deserve better than a dark overlord. I want a duke or a king or a neurosurgeon. <laughs> Worry not, my prince. I shall find the wench and return her here. Selina, please, allow me. I shall marshal troops and we shall find her. I shall bring her back. Do you understand? I care not the means. Just get her back. Why doesn't Melina love me? Me, Cora, Dark Overlord. And why does she spend so much time with my friend, Dr. Rosenthal, the neurosurgeon? Why? 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 
Of course. Another net. Typical Cora. Oh, I hate that man. Good day's work, Gorgon. I'll take it back to the castle. That's it. I'm getting a divorce. Find a woman helpless and then call yourself a man? You do try my patience. Oh, please let that be a male model come to rescue me from this miserable excuse for a marriage. Hey, it's the virile warrior, Thane of Hawksridge. He could pass for a model. That's good. Maybe. You'd have to cut that awful hair and stop eating for six months. I wonder how much money he makes a year. Cora, are you telling me that I've wandered into his evil realm of corruption? Yes. And each day, the fingers of his iron hand reach farther across the land, spreading a blight of misery and destruction. This is serious. As another world turns, we'll be right back. Are you a wizard? Is electromagnetic discharge driving you crazy? Dark Prince of the Underworld! Flying soothing shock block gel. Shock block, it takes the magnet out of electromagnetic discharge. I've only known Thane for 12 minutes. But I love him more than life itself. I thrive on danger. I'm a warrior. When other men shriek in fear, I ride forward my sword drawn. And the mighty warriors cry. Yeah! Okay, that's gotta go. If Melina would just listen to me, black sorcery is stressful. All I want is a little compassion. Is that too much to ask for in a marriage? Is it? Tell me, what else do you know about pleasing a lady? Well, I am a pretty good provider. I knew it. He's loaded. Kiss me, Thane of Hawksbridge. We'll be right back. Are your dinosaurs sluggish? Do you wish they would try to kill and eat each other? Try Dynomytalene Aggression Enhancement Gel. Dynomytalene. Turn your dinosaurs into dynamite. Of all the people I expected to ambush me, I never expected my evil twin stepbrother, Damon of Hawksridge. What time are you, idiot? I'll show you some of the greatest sword play you ever seen, because I'm the best in the land. <laughs> I'll give you the pleasure of dying on your feet. Wait, I have to go find... What was her name again? Oh, well, she can wait. I'll take a sword fight over heterosexual sex any day. <laughs> Why do we fight? I've never felt so warm and safe. Perhaps now Melina will love me. I would rather die by my own hand than concede to your corruption. Take her to the torture wall. Jezebel. I do so hate this room, don't you? I think it's the smell. Oh, black. What an appropriate color for torture. Have you reconsidered? You'll not survive this night, Cora. What does she mean I won't survive? Am I sick? Do I have cancer? Ow, that's really hot. Look at this castle. Boy. Cora has nice taste. Look at those bricks. Those are nice bricks. Whoa! That guy has two swords. How can he do that? He will suffer the fires of eternal damnation for this. My dear, I am eternal damnation. Drop it! Drop it! So, this is the warrior. Cora, I will see you drawn and quartered. You and what army? Soldiers are massing out front of the castle for an attack even now. Oh, that army. Guards? Dragons. A dragon army. That's what I should have said. Tomorrow on As Another World Turns. You're going to die for this. <laughs> How interesting. Well, what do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want to eat? I don't know, what do you want to eat? Hey, if you're asking yourself, what sort of disease mind would conceive of something such as this? Well, that would be Fred Olin Ray. 
Ray is the director responsible for such classics as Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, Bad Girls from Mars, and the immortal Bikini Drive-In. There's some heavyweights in the cast, too. Russ Tamblin from West Side Story and Twin Peaks, and Lawrence Tierney from Reservoir Dogs and, um, well, Wizards of the Demon Sword. He's a tough guy off screen, too. Got stabbed in a bar fight in 73, and he can still wipe the floor with you, you punk. What, you think we run a low-class operation here? Well, smart guy, tonight's show is just loaded with Oscar winners. Well, nominees, anyway. Hang on, and uh, we'll tell you all about them. Fast Food Films highlight of Kentucky Woman and would like to purchase the original full-length home video version of the film. Visit your local video store or have your credit card ready and call 1-888-568-3320 or send a money order to the address on your screen. If you want to own your own personal copies of the full-length home video versions of Wizards of the Demon Sword and The Love Thrill Murders, visit the Troma website or call their toll-free number. Okay, uh, we were talking about Academy Awards. From Kentucky Woman, Ned Beatty got nominated for Network, and from Wizards of the Demon Sword, Russ Tamlin got a nomination for Peyton Place. Not too shabby, no! huh? We hope you enjoyed our take of these classic films that Hollywood might not remember, but we can't forget. Come back next week for more bite-sized movies served up our way. Thanks for visiting Fast Food Films. Please pull forward. Good night. Joking.